We are going through exercise 13D, question two, and in this video, I'm going to go through K. So here is what we're dealing with, and we know that whenever we're doing something like this, we wanna make sure that all of my bases are the same. So I have 25, I have five, and at first when I saw this huge number, I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I did know that my base had to be five. So let's just go, all right, 25 is five squared n plus one equals, this is already, how we like it, so already got a base of five and an indice of one. And then here, what's this going to be? Well, this is gonna be five raised to the power of eight. Now I actually had to think to myself, I, I have everything memorized up to about five, so this one was a bit bigger than what I'm used to dealing with, but I just had to kind of count up, all right, five times five and keep on going until I got there. All right, another way you could do it, sorry for the de uh, detour on this, you could make your base 25 and then make your indice a half here, and then this would just be 25 raised to the four. That's another way to do it. But I'm happy if you didn't do it that way and you just did it this way. All right, let's keep on going. Five, this is gonna be two N plus two equals five to the one. Uh, on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plus together my indices. So this is gonna be five to the N to the nine, sorry, I get my n's and nines mixed up. I don't know why. All right, so now I'm going to equate my indices. So what I'm going to end up with is two n plus two equals nine. I then I'm going to rearrange to solve for n. n and nine, ugh, n, n, n and nine. All right, so it's going to be two n <laughs> equals seven. So I've subtracted two from both sides and that means nine, n is going to be equal to seven on two. And that is going to be your final answer. So let me just fix this up. Then this one is going to be your final answer. Hopefully this was helpful to you.